Hello. Is hello not okay? Yeah, absolutely. Good, go on, Vinny. Yeah, good. There's been various responses to what you said about the FA Cup fourth round replay. Uh, Brandon Rogers fully agrees with you, by the way. He says that you'll go within your rights to rest all your players for the benefit of the club. But on the flip side, there's been the FA saying that every club agreed to the season's FA Cup fixture schedule and new fourth round replays might cut into the winter break. Some would say it's a chance to give the likes of Matty, Lalana valuable game time. Another point to raise includes Shrewsbury, but he played two games less. And whatever side you do choose to pick, that you should be there as manager. So, how do you respond to all of that? <laughs> Thank you very much. So we, maybe we should start with the most important thing. I I'm, I'm feel a bit sorry for the for Shrewsbury because um, after the game it was um, obviously everybody spoke about what I said and not about the, the brilliant performance of Shrewsbury. That they deserve. Really, I thought I said it out directly after the game, but maybe I didn't make it clear enough. All the, all the rest, what I said was then for the outside world more important. So um, the next thing is we we want to go to the next round. That's still the plan. Um, and Shrewsbury, we are a Premier League team, Shrewsbury is a League One team uh, and they could get a draw from that game for different reasons and um, why should our U23 um, not be able to do that? So it's not that we gave up or something like that. That's um, another important thing, I think. Um, then I have to make decisions to which are not my, the, the, the reason for my, it's not that I want to make popular decisions or stuff like that. I have to make decisions based on the on the situation we are in. And um, some other people did some decisions um, when they thought before the season, obviously about this season. But whoever it was, and um, okay, the, the FA tried to do something with um, moving games to midweek and stuff like this to um, decrease the intensity of the period a little bit. But in the end, it came out, and whoever was involved in that, if somebody from our club was involved in that as well, or forgot to say no or whatever, I don't know exactly how it was discussed. The situation ended up in, they gave us two weeks. In the first moment, we're all human beings. We just thought, okay, two weeks, that's it. And it was not clear which week you get. And then you, we started going a bit into it. And then we saw, okay, if we get a second week, then we play probably a Champions League game in that week. Would mean if we have the second week of these two weeks now, Hope it's not too complicated. Our winter mid-season break would have ended Tuesday. That's nine days, I think. Um, we cannot make then a, day, a week off or whatever and, and, and say, OK, there are two days to prepare um, Atletico Madrid in this case. It's not possible. So the other week was the first week for all the Champions League teams was obviously the more um, the, um, the better week because there's no Champions League game. Um, and then it came up, oh, there could be a potential replay. So, and then, because we plan in the long term, we can, I cannot plan like boop, 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 like this, especially when there's a, a really decisive period of the season coming up. So I decided, um, around about three weeks, I don't know exactly when, we, we knew that we, are, when, that we are through to the next round, that people play Shrewsbury. Not sure that was, no, it was not clear because they had to play Bristol. I decided that we will have a mid-season break based on a letter not only but as well based on a, on a letter which was we got in April 2019 where we were asked to respect this um, mid-season break and we do that and I know how it sounds now and I don't want to be in the in the middle of all these discussions I don't I'm not a revolution guy or whatever and want to show the whole world how strong I can be or whatever. It's not absolutely not the reason. If people think I'm not here, that I'm lazy because I'm not there at the game, I'm lazy. I cannot change that. If people name me whatever they want to name me, I cannot change that. But I'm not too much interested in it because I only, the only responsibility I feel is for my players and to be 100% honest, very much for all the players as well. If you don't, if you do now just, if you react now just in a, in a, in a, in a way like we always react, okay, we have to do it, we have to sort it somehow, whoever will be here, we have to play and find out and find a way to do it. Nothing will change and I think all people in football agree um, that things have to change and that people have to, to speak. So how is it possible that at the end, and if they, the way they, they, they spoke about it, 
I don't know who was there from which club. I know the FA, FA said all the clubs um, agreed. No sports responsible people were there. So it was not a call, it was not a manager, and it was not a sporting director. So and that's what we need. That, that's what has to change as well. So because otherwise we have next year exactly the same situation. Yeah, it's obviously difficult to find two weeks where you can give all the Premier League teams a, a week off and then a week to prepare the next game because that's what we will do. And not only the next game, this week rest for the players. It's not a break. It's not that they don't train or whatever. We send coaches with them wherever they go. Not one player here and then you get their own coach, but uh, the players are smart enough to go four or five players to the same place and we send their coaches. So they train, but not here at Melbourne, not football, just to keep the body going a little bit. And then we have another week leading to the Norwich game, I think. It's, um, this is a Norwich game, yeah. And to the rest of the season, which is a very important part of the season. Weeks ago, when we had to, when we had to decide, it, nobody knew we will win the next two Premier League games, three games. We could have lost them, whatever. That was all. Um, and then we are in a different situation. Maybe people would discuss it differently. I don't know. We had to make the decision then, and I made the decision. And now it looks like people expect from me something different. So I cannot, I cannot do what all the people want out there. Um, could I be here for the game? Of course I could. But that's, again, a complete misunderstanding of management and coaching. I, can, I don't come here for showing up for the team like two days or one day training and then tell the boys, so now I tell the boys. It's like all the good coaches from the past could still come in, like Fabio Capello could just go to the Italian national team and tell them two days what they have to do and everything will be fine. It's not like this. They need their coach, and that's Critch. They need their coach, and they get their coach, Critch. They get all our support, all what they want, and we try everything as a club to win that game. And it's possible. It's possible. It's not, it's not easy, but we all saw. And we saw Shrews replaying, but it's possible. And that's the only thing what is important. But um, the winter break, the mid-season break, it's not winter, the mid-season break um, is now something what has to be um, settled for the next years. And all the, all the different parties together have to find a solution that it's not will not be like this year again that it's possible you have one but it's not maybe not maybe yes um, that's just not how it should be and that's exactly the situation is that mid-season break then as important for managers as it is for players no no i said it a couple of times it's it's about it's about that we do it to to make uh, to make it the standpoint just clear and again i said if people call me lazy if people call me disrespectful to cup commissioners it's not all not true but that's not important because everybody has a right to 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 have an opinion i have no problem with that but it's i cannot just do what i want i i'm responsible for my players and we we decide i decided for them for us for the whole group with the coaches and all that stuff this is the mid-season break, and that has to be the mid-season break for the next years because that's what everybody needs, what everybody needs. And if we just always react in the same way, then nothing will change. And that, that, that there's a discussion now is really good. I, I, I got a lot of support for short message wise, so it's not that everybody got asked, obviously, but they sent me still messages and then said this and that. But all the people are obviously then in, were in a similar situation, like, like we are every year trying to find a way to go through the season. It's absolutely okay, it's our job, we do that. But if then part of that, of all these long term plans, uh, is a mid season break, then it has to be a mid season break, and you cannot get it away a week before you have it. That's just not possible. Moving on, looking ahead. That's nice. How is Sadio Mane? Is he going to be available to face West Ham? What's the extent? No. Um, Sadio will not be involved for West Ham, um, and probably not for Southampton. After that, he should be then fine. Um, um, in the, the, the week we have, then after that is for him um, perfect to, to get um, back on track, if you want. Um, so he uh, has a, a small muscle tear, which is... Um, which I keeps him up is, is, is serious enough to get him out, but um, it, we were a little bit we were lucky um, with the injury as well, so it was not that serious. But of course, when you have four games or whatever in or three games in, in in a week, then that means he's out for these yeah three games. Um, if I can just obviously um, call on news, I suppose on Sunday night the news about Colin Bryant. I don't know whether. Uh, that would have affected you at all, or how you felt when you when you heard the news just massively. Obviously, everybody else. That was yeah, that's how the world is. In the first moment, it's it's Kobe Bryant, and then you get all the other information. So, of course, I was absolutely shocked in the first moment. I met him once, 
Um, yeah. It's one of the rare moments. Um, yeah, we had a selfie together, and um, I'm, I'm a big admirer of, of, of these kind of sports personalities. And this is a wonderful person, and I have a few other connections in different parts, um, um, charity-wise and stuff like this. So, um, uh, yeah, was a big. Just showed all of us um, um, how quick it can be finished. However brilliant the life was until then but then you get all the other informations with the daughter and, and all the other people the family the coaches and stuff like this it's just a very 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 sad news uh, can I might go back to football uh, as well West Ham United obviously next I, I'm just wondering how you look at this one a slight it's felt like a slight tweak in formation for their FA Cup games and players as well so how do you prepare for West Ham what do you expect if anything <laughs> West Ham fights for the league, yeah. so right, well, we're staying in the league, and um, that's what uh, what what it looks like. Um, it will be a big fight, and they will fight with all they have. It will be rather defensive um, lineup. It will um, if it's four in the back, if it's five in the back, I don't know. But both both is obviously possible. They they did something mixed already um, when it was four, but plus Masuaku, man marking per, Pereira, I think against Leicester. Um, so yeah, different possibilities, but um, we have to be ready for a for a big fight. They want to strike back. They have a tough program coming up. Um, everybody knows that, and uh, they have no no points to waste, no time to waste. Um, uh, yeah, it will be just um, a, a, a tough one, 100 percent. But we have to 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 do what we what we have to do. Means we have to 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 fight as well. Very important. We have to keep up. If not setting the intensity level um, and um, and play uh, yeah do some smart things with possession as well and that's um, a big challenge you know, counter-attacking threats well uh, Antonio Mancini whoever can play I'm not 100% sure that's it will be tough but that's what the uh, Premier League is about Julius <laughs> During the mid-season break, about players having individual training programs to, to go through themselves. So, with the likes of some players who haven't been available coming back from injury, um, you know, sort of mentioned um, Joel Matic, and he's been one of the questions. Would he? Would his program be more intense then to others? Because, of course, as has been sort of suggested, and uh, you touched on it, it's like there are subject. Why aren't they getting the game time if they're just coming back from? On injury, so that that program would be more intense. Let's say for him. I said, I said we made a decision. We made a decision um, three weeks, I think three weeks ago, and that was for the this squad and not for the players. And would, would the game more or less would help? Yes. Would it make the the all over difference? No. Um, and that's it. It's a it's a. It's a, 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 stand, a stance or a, a standpoint as well. That's the, the mid-season break. It's not that we can decide. Again, the plan was, I don't want to go always back to that, but I don't understand why nobody really thinks. It. It's like, we, 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 the associations, whatever, brought us in a situation that we had to already weeks ago, had to think, a month ago maybe, I mean in December, have to think about do we play the Caraboa Cup or do we play um, the World Team Cup? And everything, I'm not sure if it was 50-50 or whatever it was, but we were in the city, we had to make a decision. Why do we have to make a decision? That's, that's, uh, there's a schedule and find a way to, that, it, that, it, that it's normal. And people ask us to play against Aston Villa. So because in England nobody thought that it's really important to be there. We went there and we realized if we wouldn't have been here or if we sent the kids there or whatever, that would have been a massive, um, a massive um, statement to the outside world that we are not interested in what the whole world is interested in because it was a really big tournament for all people apart from England and maybe Germany I'm from there they never really thought about that as well so or Europe let me say like this and um, we were in that situation now we're again in a situation where we have to make uh, when we have to make a decision but usually you have a schedule like we all have a schedule where you, where you can rely on so and that's it and that's what we said this needs to be the winter, the mid-season break needs to be a mid-season break from next year on for everybody. 
and not Champions League maybe because it's mainly for the Champions League teams they, they have to they have the most busy schedule or European League teams with the international games they have to, and then it's these teams have then only four days and can prepare five days a game and that that's just not like it like it should be and um, how is that I don't want to be the guy who has to make that decision but um, when they when Shrewsbury scored this 2-2 I felt a little bit oh maybe it's destiny so now we have to now we have to 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 stand to it and that's what we do and that's it James and yeah and is it therefore better not to have replays at all in the fourth round <laughs> if, if things can't be changed in the <laughs> yes so for that and again i heard didn't read it but um um there were really clear opinions about that and it's like uh, the financial situation for, for the, the, the lower league teams and stuff and I respect that my, the most time still of my life I worked and played for lower league teams so and I, I understand that situation 100% but the replay cannot be the solution so we have to find different solutions so that's how it is so that's about there are solutions and if, if, if it's I think the Oxford manager last week uh, or when it was said that they have nine games in February so Shrewsbury fights for the league I'm not 100% sure they, they would have that day they could have won the, the penalty shoot why not it looked they were on the rather on the winning side than we were on the winning side so in that game so if they win the game then they have a fifth round good another boost they have the, 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 the penalty shoot and they can go to the next round good I'm not sure how many games they have but they have not a squad for playing now constantly three games a week so uh, on the highest level, that's why Shrewsbury, obviously with the quality they have, are not higher in the competition. So it's for the moment, it's a solution for the moment. In the long term, it's not a solution for these teams as well. Because we, have, we all have problems after that unbelievable busy December, January, going now in that period where the decisions will be made. For the, for the whole season. The, the, the decisions will be, you only create a basis and from now on the decisions will be made. Who goes to Europe, who goes to Champions League, who will be champion, who stays in the league and all that stuff will be now made. There's no, nothing is decided yet. And that's exactly, and that's what the, 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 re, the replays really, they cause everybody problems. It's maybe on the financial side and for that we have to find a solution. Nobody wants to take the money away from the, from the smaller clubs. But the replay is not the solution. May, uh, I know traditions, it's always difficult to break with traditions. I don't, and it's even more difficult when you're not from the country. But I love cup competitions. In seven years at Dortmund, I think I was three or four times in a, in a, in a, in a cup final. Well, not so often, but was there. So it means we won all the other games until then. So it's nothing to do with that. It's just I have to see the bigger picture, and that's what I do. And that means the players will be, will have their program. And I will not be there, not because I don't want to be here or I plan differently. I'm absolutely not important in that part, but it's not about showing up and, and, tell, and, and wearing my training gear or, or touchline gear and, and show the world I am here. It's about the best thing for the boys, and that's their coach. Critch did really, really well with Aston Villa. The goals we conceded there, forget them. But the, the, the game they played was, was exceptional and with a similar performance, the boys have a chance 100% against Shrewsbury. And that's the only thing that you never have more than a chance before a game. Nobody knows how it will end, but the boys have a chance and um, I hope they will make it. And just a question on Roberto Firmino, if I may. He scored 10 goals this season. All of them have come away from him. Is that just sheer... Strange. I don't, yeah, absolutely. I have no idea. I heard about it. Um, but well, they were pretty much all very important, especially the last five, I remember, they were incredibly important. So I'm fine with that, as long as enough people score at home and he scores away, no problem with that. Thank God we have now an away game or whatever. So, um, no, um, yeah, I would say pure coincidence. David, anything you do? do you think that they will make any changes to the result you've taken? I have, I have no idea. I, I, I have no idea. Look, it's always like this. We, we, I said now what I said. And other people find explanations. I'm not sure, I don't want to say excuses, but explanations for that. But we said it before, we said it. If that was like this, then all the people, clubs involved, have to think differently. So just, and have to discuss these things differently. If I, if I would imagine a, dis, a, a, a discussion like that, it's then all the people sitting in there, and then it's like, yeah, and the winter break will be there, but the potential FA Cup rebuild, yeah, 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 okay, done, that point. So, and that's how, how the player situation 
is discussed in a moment, and that's what has to change. And we said that now, not only me, a lot of times, because again, 21, we have now another Copa America in the summer, European Championship. The Copa America was last year already, European Championship again. Our play, not, not only our players, a lot of top, top class, world class players. Again, no break in the summer. Again, 21, where we usually would be, would have been a summer for everybody. Club World Cup and UEFA already plans now a, 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 like a, a parallel tournament for all the other teams who are not involved there. So we fill now that break as well. And that is not possible anymore. And that's really, it's uncomfortable that as a, as a normal person, I have constantly to talk about that. It's not that I, I think that's my main problem. My main problem, and I thought the whole night, last night, we made the analysis, it was only West Ham. But of course, I accept that the day you want to talk about it. But it's not, I'm, I don't want to be the person who, who is the, the shouter for everybody. It's just nobody, not nobody else, a lot of coaches do it. But that's now a moment where we have to stay strong and say, no, we cannot do that like this anymore. Because if we don't start a discussion, all the rest is only grabbing more. It's just only doing more and here another game and there another game and here another competition and here bigger Champions League and here and that. And of course, it's from the club's point of view, interesting. Uh, clear, it's a, but, but we are part. We, we are part of the club, and we, we talk to our, to all the um, important people in our in our club as well. But it's completely normal. We want to play football as often as possible, but that's the key word: possible. So you cannot play constantly. The big sports in in the whole world, whatever it is, I don't know exactly. They all have breaks. They all have breaks in America. The big sports are always world championships. They have, they have four months off. Nobody knows where they are. Do they in pre summer camps or whatever? It's very intense. Here it's like constantly playing through. And that's all good. But the players cannot do that. We limit careers. We limit performance levels. That's how it is. And why should I now sit here and, and do that? And I, it would be the easiest thing for me to say, I'm there on Wednesday. Now everybody would be happy. Oh, Tuesday, sorry. And everybody would be happy that I, I, Jürgen is there. Then and nothing, and everything is fine. That's the wrong statement. And again, from a football point of view, I say these boys need their coach, not me standing there and acting like their coach. They need Critch, and they get Critch. That's it. So would you possibly be involved in that situation at an early stage when it comes to this maybe schedule for next season? I'm, I, if I have time, that's my problem. Eh? We have to do, then I don't know, in a mid-season break or whatever, that uh, we sit together and, and, and talk about it. It's no problem to do that. Absolutely no problem. I don't want to discuss it in public. I'm, I'm, 99% of all the things we discuss stay completely. I would never speak about it in public because it's just do it. But at the end, it must be the right solution. That's We all work on it. And the right solution doesn't mean the right solution for me. It means the right solution for the specific problem. <coughs> but of course, I would be... If somebody asks me, it's no problem um, to talk about it. I said pretty much everything already uh, now in these kind of press conferences, so I just have to record it and, and I don't have to come there. Richard, anything for you? Ramon, thank you very much, guys. Thank you. Welcome.